The Indian River County Chamber of Commerce is pleased to present Chamber Buzz. Today we take time to appreciate the businesses that have made a positive impact on the Indian River County throughout the year, either through their architectural enhancements or through their economic contribution to our community. Now I'm going to turn the program over to David Hoover, Chairman of the Awards Committee, who will announce the Architectural Recognition Awards. David? Thanks, Bill. Good afternoon, everyone. The projects considered under the Architectural Recognition category are valued not only for their aesthetic achievements, but also how the new or renovated building improves the area in which it is located, the ease of access for pedestrians and for vehicles, plus landscaping or other improvements that are above and beyond what is required by local government. Our first award recognizes new construction of a small building less than 10,000 square feet. And the award goes to Oculina Bank. Carolina Bank owns the building. M2 did the engineering and architectural work. Landscape design was done by the CEO and Associates. The builder was Summit Construction, and Chris Russell, Executive Vice President of Oculina Bank, will accept the award. The award for new large building construction over 20,000 square feet goes to the Hampton Inn and Suites on 20th place. The owner is HIS Miracle Mile. Engineering was done by Kim Lee Horn and Associates. The building was designed by LLW Architects. Sartain and Associates did the landscape design. Proctor Construction Company is the builder, and Keith Kite will accept the award. The award for a new nonprofit building goes to the Audubon House, located at the east end of Oslo Road. The Pelican Island Audubon Society owns the building. The engineering firms are Carter and Associates, Coastal Technology, Formica and Associates, Schulke, Biddle and Stoddard, and GFA International. The architects are Richard Bielowski, Jeff Ray, and Amy Toma. Landscape architect, the Serva Terra Landscape Architecture. Kelly Construction is the builder, and Joe Bear Contracting did the site work. Dr. Richard Baker, president of the Pelican Island Audubon Society, will accept the award. Our next award recognizes renovation of a small commercial building less than 10,000 square feet. And the award goes to the Florida Eye Institute on US 1 in Sebastian. The Florida Eye Institute owns the building. The engineering firm is Paul Welch Incorporated. Steve Lacasse Design Group did the architectural design. Landscape design was done by Tropical Property Management. Regarded Building and Development is the builder. And Dr. Thomas Bada, partner who led the renovation, will accept the award.
Next is renovation of a small government building. The award goes to the school district's adult education campus. The school district of Indian River County owns the building. Engineering and landscape design was done by MDG Engineering. The builder was Bill Bryant and Associates, and Dr. Mark Rendell, the school district superintendent, and Scott Sanders, the director of facilities for the school district, will accept the award. Schlitt, CPAs, 
for their office on 19th place in Vero Beach. The owners are Will and Ali Schlitt. John Schlitt did the architectural and landscape design. Engineering firms are McGuire, I'm sorry, Knight McGuire and John Schlitt. The builder is Custom Touch of Vero Beach, and Frank Schlitt and Ali Schlitt will accept the award. The first one is for new single-family residential construction. This award goes to Tapestry Homes in the Vero Lago development on 30, sorry, 51st Avenue. <laughs> Peter Postman owns Tapestry Homes. The architect is ESA Architects and Planners. Landscape design was done by Parker Annette Design Group. Cadmus Engineering did the engineering work. The builder is Tapestry Homes Construction, and Pam Jarrett will accept the award. Our next award is for new multifamily residential construction. The award goes to East End Townhomes, located off of Ocean Drive. East End Development owns the property. The architectural firm is Gregory Anderson, PA. Landscape architects are Hayslip Landscape and Shelby Biddle and Stoddard, who also do the engineering work. Interior design was done by Spectrum Interior Design of Vero Beach. The builder is Waters Edge Estates, and Vic Lombardi, owner of Waters Edge Estates, will accept the award. Finn, president of the Racket Club, will accept the award. And that concludes our architectural recognition awards. Congratulations to all of our winners. I'll turn it back over to Mr. Penn. Thanks, Dave. Join Marsha Little John nightly at 5 and 9 on VeroBuzzTV.com. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. Uh, 
now it's time to recognize our manufacturer of the year. The criteria for this award includes growth of the company, quality of the jobs, its economic impact on our community, and sales that are primarily outside our region or state, thereby importing money into our local economy, making them a contributory company. We have two awards in this category, small and mid-size. The first award for small manufacturer of the year goes to Palm Coast Shutters and Aluminum Products. Palm Coast, or give me a go. Why do you make the 30 minute journey after I'm going to go tell you a story? <laughs> Palm Coast Shutters and Aluminum Products manufactures a variety of shutters, storm panels, screens, gates, fencing, and railings with 10% of the material sourced locally. With an estimated annual revenue of a million and a half dollars, the company has seen a 15% sales increase and a 15% market share increase over the past year. Palm Coast offers its 10 employees full benefits plan, including employee discounts and employee recognition programs. Palm Coast is a member of several local and national trade associations that have donated equipment and installation of the equipment to several local nonprofits. Earlier this year, the company was recognized as a reader's choice by Hometown News for the best storm shutters. Congratulations to Palm Coast Shutters and Aluminum Products. Austin McNally is here. Vice President will accept the award. Austin. Manufacturer of the Year Award is presented to Aluma Tower Company. Go ahead, give me <laughs> Aluma Tower manufactures aluminum telescoping towers, shelters, and trailer units, much of which is sold to the U.S. government. The company's economic impact on local taxes is over $250,000 annually. 95% of its products are distributed outside of Florida, and 20% are shipped overseas. Sales have increased 50% in the past year, while market share has grown by 10%. The company expanded its footprint several years ago, adding a second site on Old Dixie Highway to south of its current location. Over the past 12 months, the company has granted three, was granted three provisional patents to increase efficiency in its production process. The company's 35 employees are offered a full menu of health benefits plus an employee recognition program. Earlier this year, Aluma Tower was recognized as a 2015 Manufacturer of the Year by the South Florida Manufacturers Association. Congratulations to Ange Langford, President, General Manager, and her team at Aluma Tower as our Chamber of Commerce Manufacturer of the Year. Angela. You've had an easy journey up here. Next is our Entrepreneur Year Award. This this award. Okay, back at the tape. Next is our Entrepreneur Year Award. This rec this award recognizes a firm that is less than five years old that demonstrates ingenuity, initiative, and risk taken by small business owners and their contribution to the local economy. This will be the People's Choice Award, I guarantee. The 2015 award goes to Valerie and Alden Bain, owners of the Orchid Island Brewery. They opened in 2014 in a small space on Ocean Drive, and within months the company expanded into an adjacent space. The owners invested over $200,000 in new equipment and renovations that had an estimated gross revenue of uh, over $450,000 in the first year of operation. With the craft brew industry in its infancy in Indian River County, Valerie and Alden made their way through the state and local regulations to get approval to produce craft beer locally for commercial operations. Work at Island Brewery uses social media and happy customers as a primary source of marketing. <laughs> That's beautiful. In the next five years, Valerie and Alvin anticipate two and a half million dollars in sales. Their corporate philosophy is protecting and enhancing our community agricultural legacy through the popular economic medium, beer. <laughs> Congratulations, Valerie and Alvin, being owners of the Work at Island Brewery.
samples in the parking lot? Or? Thanks, all. The next award is our Latin Business of the Year, which is presented to the event firm International and Florals by Faye, owned by Faye Dominici. Established in 2006 and specializes in luxury events and production industry. The company expanded in 2011, opening Florals by Fay. As a small employer, the company generates over 23,000 in annual taxes. The firm's sales have increased 22% in the past year, and market share has increased by 20%. The company serves clients worldwide, including many celebrities and Fortune 100 firms. Fay was recognized as a top designer in set production and received a design award by the International Special Events Society. The owner and her four employees are active in a number of local charities, donating $28,000 in the past year. We're honored to present the Latin Business of the Year award to Faye Dominici, owner of the Event Firm International and Four Hours by Faye. It's so hard to keep my mouth shut. Now. <laughs> it's really hard for me to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Peter O'Brien, thanks for the encouragement. The final category of the, uh, this is the Company of the Year Awards. The Company of the Year is a special tribute awarded to businesses that stimulate the local economy, make contributions back to the community, uh, provide you know, quality year-round employment, show success within their industry, and have an overall positive impact on our county. We have three awards in this category, recognizing small, medium, and large businesses. First Company of the Year Award goes to a firm with less than 25 employees, Dental Partners of Vero Beach. The practice opened in 1980 and has 17 employees who earn well above the uh, county's average annual wage of $36,000. Its economic impact on payroll and property taxes is over $160,000 per year. Dental Partners has experienced 20% increase, 21% increase in sales over the past 12 months. Employees enjoy a full slate of benefits, including flex time, family leave, employee discounts, continuing education, and a uniform allowance. The company and its employees are active in many local charities and donate an estimated $26,000 in cash or in-kind goods and services over the past year. We're proud to be honored to honor the owners of Dental Partners of Vero Beach with our small company of the year, Dr. Mickey Conway, Dr. Suzanne Tillery Conway, and Dr. Jenna Schribner. Lee Schribner with Marketing Solutions will accept the award on behalf of the owners. That is the official dental provider to the Penny family. <laughs> and, and Mickey is off in New Zealand, I guess, right? He's so excited about the award he went to New Zealand. <laughs> the second company of the year award goes to a medium-sized business with 25 to 75 employees. Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. Hill Suites opened by Marriott in uh, 2009, which was, as we know, was a tough year here in our local economy. They have 30 employees and generate 118,000 in annual payroll and property taxes. Spring Hill has seen a 23% increase in sales over the past year and was recognized with a Gold Circle Award from Marriott for ranking in the top 10% in overall guest, satisfa guest satisfaction scores. In late 2014, the hotel brought home a we give a hoot award given to the hotel that ranks in the top five in its market on TripAdvisor, reflecting superior guest service. Hotel staff are involved in many local, regional, state organizations. The hotel hosts numerous charitable events throughout the year and donates room nights for local fundraisers. Over the past year, staff has provided 150 hours of volunteer time for local charities and nonprofits. Employees enjoy a full set of medical benefits. The company schedules monthly luncheons to celebrate birthdays and anniversaries, plus employee outings to help promote team building. Congratulations to Missy Davis, General Manager of her Spring Hill Suites team as our mid-sized company of the year.
final award recognizing contributions of a large company with over 75 employees is presented to Historic Dodger Town. <laughs> Historic Dodger Town was established in 2013, although the facility has a long history in Vero Beach as the Dodger Spring training site. The current facility is a sports and conference center hosting a variety of sports teams from, uh, from around the world, plus other sports-related training, such as Minor League Baseball's Umpire Training Academy. Participants and teams represent 39 states and Puerto Rico, plus a dozen countries. Historic Dodger Town generates over 1.4 million in annual payroll taxes with a direct economic impact of $26 million a year. In the past six months, there were only 19 days with no events scheduled. In April of this year, Historic Dodger Town was featured in the New York Times sports section cover story about the facility's resurgence as an active sports facility. It was also listed number 35 in the book, 100 Baseball Places to See Before You Strike Out. <laughs> How many strikes do you all have? <laughs> I'm at two and a half. <laughs> the, uh, the number one national youth organization in, in baseball magazine also rated it very high. Its 1998 employees are offered a full range of medical benefits, continuing education, opportunities, and employee discounts. Historic Dodger Town contributes $70,000 annually to local charities. The facility hosts many events to benefit local nonprofits, including the annual St. Helens Harvest Festival, Jackie Robinson Celebration Game benefiting the United Way, and the Jay Cohen Concert to benefit the Jay Cohen Foundation. We are pleased and honored to present our Company of the Year award to Peter O'Malley, President and CEO, and his team at Historic Dodger Town. Craig Callum, Vice President, will accept the award. Again, to our elected officials for, for their support of our economic development efforts. And if you see a building, a restoration, or a renovation project, or know of a company that should be considered for next year's awards, might even be your own, please let us know. Thank you for your time and support of this event and all the Chamber's activities. This awards election is now concluded. Have a great day. Watch Chamber Buzz at 6 and 10 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays on HeroBuzzTV.com. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet on the Space and Treasure Coast. Follow Buzz TV Network and tell a friend. Join Marshall Littlejohn nightly at 5 and 9 on HeroBuzzTV.com.